Welcome to Dory Did It, DJ Raid. Hi guys. There was, her daughter was so cute in that hat, wasn't she? Let me see. I didn't. Okay, Nana Michelle, Shirley Bain, hello, Denise Lee. How are y'all doing today? I didn't even look to see if um if Juan was staying on. I figure they'll check me out if they want to check me out. Guys, I'm about worn out. VJ's live was awesome. I had a good time there. I love watching the makes of everybody. So gorgeous. I didn't send anything in. I have a lot of things I've been working on too. Let's see, there's something else that popped up. Okay. Well, how are you guys doing today? Now we're running over from VJ's. Y'all been sitting for two hours already with her. <laughs> and I've got some things to show you of what I've, I'm telling you. Um, Miss C has created an amigurumi crazy woman with me now. I have, uh, I don't know what took over. I'm just trying to get ready for this little craft show now. So these are flowers. You stick them on a stick and you actually glue them down. So I'm on my third color. These are only, I have one on the hooks um, of purple. Kristen F. Hello. How are you? Welcome in. We're all chilling here. Uh, we got about, what, six people. We're chilling from BJ's. It's been quite an eventful afternoon here at my house anyway. I was just listening. I love how she um, reads the whole chat, catches up at the end. I love how she does that. Yeah. Mary King, welcome in. Hi. How are you doing? Pick up your needles in your hook. Get yourself, like, working on a project. I actually watched, uh, um, I made one whole thing of this from, it's it's a chain of about 40, 50, and um, then you go back into it. I did one, one whole thing while I was kind of watching VJ. I did one. This is called Lavender. You stick it on a stick and then you glue it around. It turns out real pretty. You use some green, make it look like a stem. Let's see who, Darcia White, hello, welcome in. I think I got everybody coming in. Oh, Zach, you slipped in past my radar. How are you? Thank you guys for coming by. Mary King, I got you already. Oh, okay. I have been trying to get myself organized a lot in all different ways. Shirley Bain, I finished my pot holder while I was watching VJs. So I'm going to finish what she got. Her zebra parts that are on the side. Dory saw me. I didn't do a good job of hiding and sneaking in. No, nope, I saw you. I've got, I, I have to tell it every time to go vertical, but I've learned that. And um, I can see the chat so much better on this, but it only pops in about four or five lines and then it, you have to tap at it and catch it and make it work again. I'm not sure why, but um, I have two gadgets going because I could put the phone on it, but then I can't see it. I don't, I don't know. I get confused. I just get confused. But, um, yeah, amigurumis and what's good about an amigurumi is it's little parts. So you can make a bunch of them. Like I've made three now and I have the fourth one started. And for these turtles that I'm making, I've made all the little legs or flippers. And then I've made a bunch of heads. So, I mean, I've made four of them. And then I've made four of them in this color. So, it's, it's kind of neat. You, you do finish little bits and pieces. Although, then you have to do something else with them. But I am I'm liking these amigurumis. I've tried them a number of times throughout the years. And they're always, hi, Mitch. How are you? 
I, um, let's see, she says, hello everyone, coming by to give a hugs and leave my thumbs. Have to finish work. Well, bless you for coming by. Wands on too. Go leave a footprint or a fingerprint over there, a footprint. You know, the brain. Um, so the Mitch, I'm going to send out everything tomorrow. I have a date with Miss, Miss Kitty. I, the woman I helped down the street, she needs to go to the post office. So I've been getting everything together for tomorrow's post office. I have stuff going in all kinds of directions. Her prize from a win and three other directions. Some stuff is going. Jeanette, hello, how are you? Hi from Nova Scotia, hello. Canada's in the house, <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Well, I was just saying, I have crocheted for years and you've made a bear, <gasps> kitties, puppies, wait a minute, and even a zombie, a zombie-ish bunny. And two bunnies, now a zebra. Oh, I'm so proud of you. BJ Raid, Zola's in the house. Jen Reeves, hello. She's saying hey to everybody. Miss C has come to my live. Welcome in, welcome in. Zola's reminding you guys of the thumbs. Infinitely zero. Nisi. That one's Nisa, my bad. Nisa, welcome in. She said hi. <laughs> To Dory did it and everybody, I'm sure. Let's see. Um, hi, niece. Nope, that was Miss C with an N. Let's see. Oh, Harnell Media. Hello. Hello. Harnell. Okay. Zola saying hello. Mitchie's still in the house for a minute. She's giving everybody hugs. She's got to work. I remember those days. Boy, aren't they tough. <sighs> I worked pretty hard. They were tough. <laughs> okay. Yep, Mitchie, don't work too hard now. I'm telling you. Okay. Hi, Steve. I didn't see Steve. Paula. Hey, hey. Wait a minute. Where'd Steve zip in? I didn't see him. I didn't see him. But hello to him. <laughs> okay. Um... Yep, I see everybody saying hi to each other and stuff. But I've crocheted for years, and I think Miss C might have jumped and put her ears on in this chat because I have tried amigurumi numerous times. And I have a few of them out and about. A teddy bear, an octopus. I, I use too big of a hook. Love to all my family. She's got her ears on. Missy saying love to everybody and Mob's Place. Hey, how are you today? You've been a, on the streets here for a minute too. She was at, at uh, BJ's. Um, Zola saying hi to Missy and Jen saying hi to Missy and Nisi saying hi to Miss Steve. Uh, well, you know, there we go. <laughs> Missy saying hi to Steve. That one got me a different one. Okay. So let's go back to me blaming, not blaming her, because I'm loving making these, these amigurumis. Um, oh, Q Linda, welcome in, welcome in, honey. Okay, so I've crocheted for years and years. And hump day, yes, ma'am, VJ. I love you, sweetheart. And I love your lives. And that hat looked gorgeous on her with the ruffly scarf. I'm doing something similar. I'm making. Oh my God, um, lavender. The, you, you just chain it up more or less in the chain and then you glue it on a stick thing. I'm making some lavender. She's going over your, ch uh, here I'm taking over your channel. <laughs> well, what I'm creating, you kind of are. So I'm making the lavender. This is a little daisy. I've made a couple of them. They have the green on the back. Um, let's see. I also started some mm, some sunflowers. 
I'm going to make a, thank you, thank you, Zola. Um, I'm going to make a garland with the sunflowers. I didn't see the one, I've seen one now that has a green back. But I'm making these amigurumi flowers and turtles and I got a bunny or two with, I got bunny parts. I want to make a zebra really bad. I didn't do anything with an elephant yet, but the zebra took over and um, what did she have? An idea here. Let me see, see, see. Um, da, 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 da. Thank you, BJ. Let's see. Here I am going, taking over the... Oh, I read that. Thank you. Be right back. Okay, Jen, take your time. <laughs> I always love that when I'm running around the room. Hey, Cindy, welcome in. Lulu's treasure is in the house. Okay, I didn't see what uh, was the good idea. Uh, Lulu's saying, hey, everybody, hugs, and how you doing? Let's see. Um, I want to make an elephant. I, I wanted to make an elephant, but um, I made an elephant. Matter of fact, I gave that one away, so I did a pretty good job on it. This was about a year ago. <laughs> Lulu's saying, hey, back. So I've, I've got... Well, I turned my one of my bunnies into a cat, so I kind of made the cat. I don't know who that was saying hey. Denise Lee said hey, Cindy. And um, but having this little sale that I'm gonna do up at the Gee Dunk, I have gotten obsessed. I want a couple of flowers and vases, and I even started. Now this I started. A year ago? Two, nah, nah, I've been retired two years now. Um, it was over two years ago that I started this. Let's see. And this is um, kind of in the same thing as amigurumis and then moving on to these flowers. Look at this. This is all Krista at uh, the Secret Yarnery. That's her. her problem. I made this plant. I found this. This is a whip in a big orange basket and it is total it's got a little stuffing in here and the bottom even this is what i left for a whip all i had to do was finish it i um a matter of fact i got all the way to the edge i didn't need to put any more why do we do these things when we get bored it just stops where it's at and we don't go back to it so look, all I got to do is get a pot, a couple more loose ends, and I won't have it done before Friday, so forget that, BJ. It's not going to be a <laughs> FO by Friday. I mean, there's a lot of ends to sew in, and I'm busy doing other stuff again. But this was kind of neat. It made, I remembered it. I was watching one of Mama G's um, videos recently and she mentioned something. Thank you guys. Thank you. I made this a long time ago now. So I love it even more now. It's almost, it's, it's practically done. So I was watching her channel and she said something about one of her wigs, the, um, camo something. I don't know what you call that thing. They hang the twirly things outside. Yeah, I mean, this is just so neat. This, this was from Krista's channel. What? Gilly suit. That's what she called it. She called it a gilly suit. Thank you for popping her channel up there. Um, she called it a gilly wig. And I started to think, this is what that reminded me of when she was make when I saw her make those. So um, I thought about this whip and started to tear the house apart again. Like, where is it? I couldn't remember I had put it in an orange project bag, a big orange one with lots of different greens in there. And so I found it yesterday and I was very glad because now it's so close to being done. I'm going to bring it to the sale for like a come on thing, but I ain't selling it. There's no way. This thing took me forever. You couldn't put a price on this. I love it. Lots and lots of chains. Let me see. Anybody new come in? Yarn Barf. Did I just see her? 
No, yarn inspiration. Hi, yarn and no, yarn inspired. Yarn inspired. Hello, welcome in. Okay, let's see. She's saying hi to everybody. You made a video, Missy. Um, Dory, speak up. Speak up a louder. Okay, let me see if this is on volume. There. Wow, I turned it off. So, volume. Oh. Is it louder now? I mean, I turned it up. Let me see. Let me see. What is Krista's channel's name? That's um, the Secret Yarnery. Right? Somebody help me out. I know that's her channel. VJ, can you hear me better? Please tell me yes. I always get so frustrated with... Let me see, let me see. Oh, got to go all the way down the bottom. Hi, Bonnie. Welcome in. Welcome in, Bonnie. Um, Denise Lee. Hi, Yarn Inspired. She's saying hi. Aunt Nisi. Quilt. Yes, louder. I'm assuming that's Secret Yarnery. Yes. Thank you, Zola. Thank you so much. Yes, you're good. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I forget I have to talk with my voice a notch up. I've the, the, being in a quiet house now with, with you know you don't talk I talk a little but I don't talk loud. So Bonnie, where are you at? Cuz are you in Canada? Let's see. Lulu, hello Lulu. She's saying hello to Quilty Linda. Bonnie's Corner. Well, so that's kind of, you know, I'm into amigurumis. I'm going to finish this one. I doubt it's before Friday. Um, sorry for the late replies. My sister was helping me back up. Okie dokie. Um, so, this, I'm going to, yeah, I really want to finish this. And I'm going to take it to, I, I don't know, I could, I don't even know what price I could put on this. You know, I could put it in a pretty, pretty pot and it's just going to be a come on for a plant. That's what it's going to be. But what's kind of funny on that same line, I was going to make a cactus. And um, so I learned, I, I just want to say this because I just turned my tablet off or iPad. It's an iPad. I turned my iPad off when I pushed that button and um, $25. Wow. I couldn't give it up for that. The, um, the live didn't go away. I just turned it right back on and they were still here. Now that amazed me big time. But what I was going to say about this is I'm going to take beans and I'm going to put them inside. I'm going to put them in an organza bag. Um, love your shirt. Thank you. It's very old, very old. It's, it's me though. I love it. Um, the dried beans, I'm going to put them in an organza bag and then I'm going to put it in here with stuffing around it so you don't feel the beans but that way I can plop it into any pot more or less and it'll it'll stay a little weighted. I think that's a good idea. It's, it's not like I'm saving with them. Well, I'm not sending it, so it won't be <laughs> something I would care about the weight in it. But I've done that with some of my other um, amigurumis that I want to stay upright. I've put a little beans in um, organza bags. I've got a bunch of organza bags around here. So, uh, stitch markers always come in them. So, what you guys saying? Let me see. Yarning for a smile. Hey, you're, you're out on the streets good today, huh? Okay. Um, she was at VJ's, too. Zola. Hi, Kim. Kim G here? It's got to be Kim G. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Wait a minute. Crafty Annie, hello, welcome in. Hello to you. 
She's saying hi to everybody. Shirley Baines, did you watch the replay of Nancy's last night? I have to go watch that. She's doing a lot of stuff too. Okay, let's see. Where is who at? I don't know. What's on second? I don't know who's on third. <laughs> I don't know where who is at. That's an old one, but a good one. Okay, so I didn't see. It's a Kim. Doctor Who. <laughs> you know, I never watched that one. I don't know why. Probably was something mom didn't like. I don't know. I never saw Doctor Who. I can't wait to finish this whip, though. That's going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to put beans in the bottom of it, and I will be so happy to have that out as a display item. And and I also like in the sunflowers. Those are my favorite. I had those mushrooms. I need to have one of them right now to pop it and play with it. I'm working on them still, too. I think I got it figured out. I think I got it figured out. So, spring, welcome in, welcome in, the fiber enthusiast, spring. And Zola's saying hi, and everybody's saying hi, Shirley, LOL, you won the spin. Okay, you won the spin, <laughs> whatever that was. Spring, everybody's saying hi to spring, bubbling spring. It, I hope it's getting warmer for you guys in other... Hello, Patty Barker. Welcome in. She's saying hello to everyone. Pull up a seat and have a little... Patty. Have a little um time on your hands. We're just yakking. We're just yakking about yarn and amigurumis and crazy stuff. Let's see. Um, Christmas cactus. Yes, my matter of fact, the Christmas cactus cactuses are um, that's the only plant that's really staying alive in my house. I love sunflowers, and I have bouquets of sunflowers everywhere in the house. And it's so funny because the actual live plant that I have growing in my house is um, a Christmas cactus. All different. I have different colored ones. I even have them rooting. If you break it off and throw it in a shot glass with just a tiny bit of water, it'll start to root. You just got home, Bonnie. Uh, it's been raining. Scared me. It scared you. Raining. Yeah, on the streets, the highways. That makes me nervous, too. Hooker versus her hooker, but Bunny ate it. <laughs> la, la. Lala and Jan, sweet women, sweet women. Okay, um, thank you to Zola from Bonnie. Okay, the other houseplant type thing that I started, I think I started that this morning. And the book is over there. But it's a cactus. It's a cute little cactus. And then it has the arm parts coming out like those cactus that have a, you know, a funny piece coming out. That's what this is going to be. So I'm going to have two plants besides some flowers. I'm going to have two plants. This one I'm going to hopefully be able to make these and sell. I hope to make two of them. It's a big seven yarn. Usually don't make ammo groomy because it hurts my hands. I love cactus. Yes, I do too. And um, I can't seem to keep them alive. They, I water them too much. But I do like cactus. And thank goodness the Christmas cactus likes water some. Um, Oh, you have one of those cactus. It's going to be neat because the one I'm going to make, I'm making it big enough. I want to put like a flower on it. And that, then I think it'll be fitting for the table having flowers and daisies. I'm going to make it real pink. You know, that neon 
beautiful pink. I think I have a, like the pink in the center of this. Can you see the difference of the center? That one is red heart. This one is um, the edged in mainstay. But that actually, I can show you that too. I put it out here. This, I had a talk with um, Billy recently, a couple weeks ago, I guess. She was talking about the squares that are supposed to be coming to her place for um, Boggy Creek. Boggy Creek. I got to put Boggy Creek in the description below. But I was talking to her about having bigger than the little squares that she was asking for because if they were 10 inch squares, okay, that's the back, 10 inch squares, then you could put two five inch ones with them. And by the way, this is one of my Boggy Creek whips. Could have sent the picture in for this. But the 10 inch square, and then you could connect the ones that are difficult because with all of us making different squares, the, the tension is going to be so off between all of us. Even if we're using the same four weight yarn and the same J hook or whatever you're using, it's still going to end up a little bit different. But, um, I'm going to make, very soon, a couple of squares for her. She's doing, Billy the Crafty Floridian, Floridian is taking three different kinds of squares for Boggy Creek. She's taking specialty squares, so pull out your fancy stitches for um, Halloween, Christmas, and St. Patrick's Day. So any colored squares that are affiliated with those holidays that are bright and cute for the children's blankets. She's making them with just regular squares. I think they're five inches or five rows, something along that line. Haven't really got the details because I want to make some that have like, like a teddy bear or something, something cute. I'll have to research it first, but make her some. And um, if, if you can't make them fancy, fancy, just get some neon colors, a couple red, you know, a skein of red heart in any one of those holiday colors and send them to her. She will be so, it'll be cool. She's making the squares just like Leanne is making the squares. Um, and she said you can send them to her because she ain't got too many yet. So, um, that was my commercial for the day. <laughs> Dory, you did it. Repeat what? Um, crafter me, repeat crafter me and Jada Stitch has some very nice whimsical squares. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's exactly whimsical squares. Thank you, Nisi. <laughs> The really cute ones, very, um, I mean, and they don't even have to be that kind. Those three holidays and the fact that bright colors, because you can have a dull square like this pinks and red, and you put a nice bright pop of something in it, and it looks more festive since we're pulling out the big words here. What'd she say that time? Okay. Um, what a cow. Dory did it. My, oh my. <laughs> Have you seen repeat crafters? Um, Mal. No, I would, and cow. No, I haven't. I'm trying to stay away from, it's for some reason. Oh yeah, neat. Um, they would be so cool for you, jellyfish, crabs, starfish. I actually have some of those, um, patterns written over there. The jellyfish is one I'm, I'm getting ready to do. I'm pretty much serving. I, I have done this was with Rel, the dabbling hook. I've done her octo a few times. I love her octo. Um, but I want to be able to put a bow or a small flower on, on the octo. 
And I think I might make a few with longer tentacles. So yes, I'm gonna have some jellyfish. Um, this is the octo. And there was a pattern for a crab. I bought some, I went and bought, OMG. Yes, I did not have some of this, this blanket yarn. So I have gone shopping for this sale and it sure was fun, but it is for the sale. And I'm still using my own stash, all of these acrylics for my own stash. And um, yeah, like this one, I had to go buy it. I didn't have green. Oh, and it's so awesome, soft. Loving it, loving it, the cactus. Now, um, a lot of these, cause I've made every color that I had from the Dollar Tree, I have that. Um, Chanel. So I've been trying to use just my stash, but I know for the sale I needed to go get some some special yarns. Some uh, blankets. Blanket yarns. Guys, like, it's just so sweet. It's so much fun to just sit and talk with people who actually understand and, and like the same stuff. I could, I could have said half of this to a to friends around here and they would like, oh, she's on a tangent again. But um, yeah, so don't forget to check out Billy's channel to send her some pretty squares for those three holidays. You could even do flowers that were poinsettias and stuff like that too. So we all know our Boggy Creek. I, um, they're gonna try to double it again this year. Thank you, Zola. Thank you. I, it's just so neat to... You guys got the same problem I do. Yarn taking over your life. <laughs> and I love this square. You guys made this square? I don't know if I'm showing you the back side. That one moved up real quick. That was a nice little fun pattern. But see, I'm, I, I am a granny square lover from way back. Actually, the little tiny picture on my channel is Granny Squares. Um, that was the first thing my mother showed me how to crochet. Granny Square. Move on, kid. And, you know, you, you learned your basic stitches with that. So, um, yeah. I learned I like making the Granny Squares bigger. So that when you're... I don't like sewing them together, basically. You know, it's part of the crocheting. I don't mind frogging. It's part of the crocheting. But to sew granny squares together is a pain in the butt. It just is. And I, I know a lot of different ways to do it. I've researched and researched and done lots of different ways. But it's still a pain in the butt. I can make squares all day long. But having to put them together is a bummer. I think it's more the... The whole process, yeah, the putting the strings in. Yeah, you don't like sewing the moffets. Uh, yeah, I made a blanket one time for my mother that was big circles. That thing was crazy to sew together. You could hardly even tell what was supposed to be sewn to what. Big stitches and stuff. I didn't like it, didn't like it. Won't do another one. Um, it hurts your hands. I... I have arthritis worse in this thumb and I do different things. I don't just sit there because now the majority of everything with the amigurumis is single crochet. So I change my position while I'm sitting because the, for some reason, the more I count and the more I count my shoulders, I get tense, I guess, with counting with the yamagurumi, but I consciously stop myself and I put my shoulders down. And if I don't, if I do that again, getting going too fast, I put that project off to the side and I give it a few minutes and I do something that is stitches or I switch to knitting. So I have two projects right next to me. I don't, yep, see, Amy does the same thing. Yep, Crafty Annie does the same thing. I don't let myself continue doing that. You'll find if you get at a quitting point with the single crochets that um, 
those thread hooks. Yeah, they're all tighter because it's single. Arthritis in your hands too? Yeah, I think most of us do. It doesn't, I also have um, the same problems with um, bigger yarn. So that's why right now I have the bigger yarn. Oh my gosh, it moves so fast. But you, the movements are bigger. Yep, your hips, your backs, it sucks. Yes. The alternative ain't too good, but yes. And this whole, let's see what, the bio freeze on your hands and wrists and elbows when you, there's a lot of creams out there. Yep. And you have to remember how long you, I can preach to you guys, but I'm the, I, I'm as guilty as the next. I just have to stop myself because right now I'm on a mission to get as many amigurumis and stuff done for a deadline for a thing. But I don't just sit there in single crochet. I can't. My hands will be terrible the next day. And I know that. So I have a knitting project next to me. It's totally different. Um, you also set an alarm and get up and move every 30 minutes. That's a really good idea. I just can't sit long enough, so I don't need that one. It kills me to sit here for a whole hour with my butt stuck to this. I really don't sit that long. I, I never have. But um, I forgot what I was saying about um, switching projects. It's not just switching projects and then you use a nine. Yes, it's either end of, of big yarn or tiny yarn. Because I'm using some smaller yarn than I've been using in a while now, too. Um, I tried to make some of these amigurumis in cotton. Because I have these products, so again, it's going back to shopping my stash. And as long as you learn the pattern... I've got, a, you know, the turtles memorized already in my head. So I can pick up cotton and do the same turtle in cotton. Got lots of cotton. And then it'd be real tiny, but I couldn't do a whole bunch of them. I could do one today. I can maybe do one later. The biofreeze. The second when you first put it on, then it warms. Yeah, I think I've used that one before where it goes back and forth. It actually does warm up and cold and get chilled again. It's weird. Biofreeze. I've used it before. It's great. So, what I'm also going to say, because mine just fell on the floor and I've got two precariously bone pillows behind my rolly chair. Use Biofreeze too. I actually have a, a CDB um, I think those are the letters. Don't ask. Um, but I have, I think, two prizes going out of Funny Bone Pillows. I'm going to have to check my paperwork. I've got stuff I'm taking to the post office tomorrow. Everything is going to be wrapped, packed, and ready to go. CBD. Yep, I'm dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. So I probably said CDB. BDD. But, um... Again, my silly bone pillows, guys. It doesn't have to be my bone pillows. Just remember to put something in another position, and that's what I do. I just watched so many different videos, saw the little bone pillow, heard different people saying it was one of their best-selling things, and it is because it changes our position. You love your bone pillow. Guys, I love mine. It is, I just, it's neat to know that you guys are enjoying it too. We all sit to do our crocheting. You can stand up, but most of us sit while doing any crocheting. And as long as you put it somewhere else, I have a number of them in, that I keep in the bedroom and I have three that I keep on the couch. I am obsessed with them. The one I have the next size. Wait a minute. <laughs> I have the next size. It's a little bit bigger than the original one I had. And um, yeah. Just changing your position helps you again with like the amigurumi 
or sitting too long under a blanket, it helps to move um, and sitting. Yeah, and you can, it, they're so small. And you just can put one under your knee if you're laying on a couch with your legs out. Just changing your body position. I don't know about you guys, but when I sit here for this live, for this hour, when I get up, I have to almost like slowly get up because I've been sitting too long. Same if I go to a restaurant and I'm sitting in there for a while. I'll be sitting with people who will get right up and walk away. I can't do that anymore. I get stiff. I was in a car accident where a truck hit me when I was injured. What I thought was just a small injury. I was diagnosed then. I was in my 20s with fibromyalgia. So, so I have the back. I don't lean back too much. I stay usually upright and I don't lean on the back. There's a certain angle that is not, I can't sit that way. And it, it's the, the example is I go to the dentist, I sit in their chair and no matter what, it's not at the right angle for me. I can't, I have to open the, the angle more for my back. We all have our situations. I lived with this pain. I mean, I was only diagnosed because of the accident. I've lived with this pain for a long time. So you learn to do little things and just readjusting. So I'm not pushing pillows. I'm just saying the longer you sit, the more you need to change your positions. The more for smaller yarn and bigger yarn, you have to accommodate your hands and change it up. That's what I do. A few of you guys were saying the same thing. It does, like Dory said, you can move it around and adjust your position. That's all you need to do. Adjust your position, let go. That is the best break, is just to let go. I have books, of course, everywhere. But just, you're holding it, you're holding it. If you simply put it down, to pick up your drink or do something else, just stretch your hands straight out. That's all you gotta do. I don't know about you guys, but mine is the circulation. If I'm holding my hands too long, do, 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 it's the circulations to my fingers. So, enough about that. Let me get my pillows. This one's not mine. This one's mine. Let me get my pillows right again. Because I've been having back aches lately because I have been sitting more than I usually do doing these projects, but I'm loving them. I'm loving them. You drink lots of water. Yep. I'm bad about that, but I do drink water. I drink as much as I can force myself. I have it in a jar in the kitchen to remind myself. I walk in there and I don't know what I walked in there for. I always drink water. It makes me remember not to walk in the kitchen unless I plan on drinking some water. <laughs> It had a reverse on that. Not a big water drinker. Let's see. I, I'm sitting here doing this now. I've just always got to be squeezing my hands. I'm a fidgety person. That's why I like them mushroom fidgets too. Okay. You do stretches. I'm curious, how, how long do you set the timer for though? When you do the, um, when you set a timer for your crocheting. Hey, Dawn, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. Mwah! <laughs> so, so good to see you. Just sitting here yakking. Everybody's just chilling. Got stuff. How are you? I know you're pulling, your, pulling out your uh, hair with what to do, too. It's like the middle of the week. About 30 minutes. That's a good amount of time. I judge mine with the video that I watch. It's just me here, so I watch a lot of videos. Um, sorry you're late. Oh, late? Nah, never late. Nobody's ever late. We're just always glad somebody came in. Um, she's working on Bod's auction. Yes, everybody's getting, that is such a blessing. I've been watching that girl a long time. 
Okay, so Jen is saying, Dory, you inspire me to make those pop-up mushrooms. I've made two mini ones. They are so cute. And I hope I get the hang of it. I'm working on it. Um, Zola's saying, she's glad you're here, Dawn. Crafty Ann saying, hello. Let's see. Um, Nisi, you're working on your blanket for Bod's auction too? That's so cool. That's so cool. Jen, sweet angels. Dawn saying, hey, sweet angel. Hey, big heart. You guys, it's just so neat. Okay, so Jen's mushrooms are cute too. You've seen them already? I'm working on them. I'm going to have to go check hers out because I'm working on them. I can't believe, I mean, I can sit there and do this on the chain. The secret to this one, you're chaining seven. First, you chain about 50. Somewhere in there, 50, 60, something like that, as long as you want it. And then you put three double crochets in the third chain from the hook. You slip stitch into that same stitch. And then you slip stitch back into your chain. And then you chain six excuse me, seven, and then you bring it back down. And it's so repetition. It, it, in your head, it's chain seven, slip stitch in the same stitch, slip stitch in the chain, chain seven, slip stitch, slip stitch, chain seven, slip stitch, slip stitch. It's so neat. It goes really fast. Let's see what, Dawn, I'm hoping to have this cat sculpture done in time. I'm thinking it will make a great hook holder. Yes, yes. The animals, that'll be a good idea. Um, my knee is swollen and you move around pretty often. Yeah, I hope you're put, elevating it and still moving it anyway. You've got to keep the blood flow going to it. Sorry guys, I just kicked you. Um, yeah, I start, I retired two years ago, April 1st, and the first thing I did was start digging the patio steps in the backyard because I wanted to be able to take my trash out the back of the house where I usually took it with me to work through at the front. While digging those patio steps, I tried to dig through concrete. I gave it all I could do. I had no idea it was in the ground. One of the squares... My, my steps went this direction. One square, because I was trying to make it wider to pull them up. They had another whole patio of steps going that direct, of big cement things in the ground. But they were totally in the ground. So when I dug, I hit a big square paver and jammed my knee. So I spent the first six months of my... <laughs> Injured. I couldn't walk. Went on a vacation. Everything swelled up. Couldn't walk. And because you don't baby it, it was worse the longer I walked with it. Made it worse. But it's learning my limitations. Slow down. Of course, for some people who don't know me, I also had a heart attack just this past Thanksgiving and 100% um, blockage just can't believe that yeah stent everything it's a blessing to be here literally so um retired two years and now crazy about amigurumi god is great god is great i'm here yep thanks shirley oh my yep we all got stuff i don't know I don't, like Miss C says, I don't come to you to complain about my stuff because most of y'all got arthritis. And I also have um, the, what is it called now? I won't even be able to think of what it is. It burns. <laughs> rheumat, rheumat, not the rheumatoid arthritis. I can't think of what it is. And that. Um, but, I mean, we learn to live with our pains, our tolerance, except for that little Matt. <laughs> He's got to go. Well, 
neuropathy. There's the word that the doctor told me. Osteoarthritis. No, neuropathy. It's in my feet. Yeah, neuropathy. That ain't nothing to play with. And I've had nerve damage before, too. Nerve pain is not fun. There's nothing that helps or cures that. You just have to work through it. Mary Beth Tanner. Hello. Welcome in. Mary Beth. What a pretty name. Mary Beth. Welcome in. What's your yarny uh, hook or needles? Which one do you like or you like them both? Okay. Yeah. Nerve pain sucks. You had it too. Yep. Sciatica. It does suck. I mean, they give you meds for it, but the meds are useless. They're useless. Isn't that cute? I've only made one of the. Well, no, I made two. Only made one so far that I like. <laughs> oh, the daisies. This one's Daisy Lavender. And I have lavender in two colors. The third color is over there still being worked on. I've got three turtles with parts ready to be made. This was gonna be their shell, guys. I'm making a strawberry turtle. And I made strawberry turtle in two sizes. I'm, I'm going to town with these turtles, I'm telling you. I got their body parts, their shells. I'm gonna make another shell out of this color. This one right here. This one's gonna be the blue turtle. So. Yep, we're just an aquarium full of turtles here. And one of my turtles, oh yeah, forgot to show. I make, this was with um, the Chanel. I'm making that one a flower. I don't know what color his body's going to be yet. But yeah, amigurumis, amigurumis, they're all over the place. And I want to make that zebra. Hola, Maritza. <laughs> Maritza's Yarn and Crafts. Welcome in, hola, to you. Thank you for coming by. Show us the turtle, the finished turtle. Um, I will, I will be showing you. I actually have one turtle that's back here in the bottom. Oh, let me see. Oh, there's the bee. There's the turtle. I have that. I showed that one on a live. These are all um, leggy frogs, flowers, bees, and the turtle. I have been very, 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 very busy. But it's... Thanks, VJ. I could have sent you some pictures. I actually took some pictures to send to you, and then I forgot. I'm not... Um... I'm worried about getting all the, um, thank you, Dawn. Thank you. Worried about getting all of packages. I have a couple things, a couple orders. I have to get those out, but I'm going to the post office tomorrow. Um, are you going to, oop, oop, I couldn't see that. Let's see. Let's see. see, see. Dory, are you going to turn that sunflower into a turtle shell? I think it would be cute. Well, um, uh, that, yeah, because <laughs> it's just a matter. Oh, they're so cute. It won't be the same as this. It'd be um, a little different, but yeah, I love these sunflowers, and I mastered them very well. That stitch was, um, oh, it's over here. Yep. That stitch is, I done did it. It's in my brain. Been making that one, but I... For the turtle shell, all I do is the brown, and then I'm going to do... I, I've done one so far, and that kind of went by the wayside. I don't know what happened at that point. I guess I saw the strawberries and went crazy for those, because those are so cute. But amigurumi, amigurumis. Um, thank you, thank you. I mean, they're all off of different channels. I really, I, I should, I'll go in and, and put the, the links for where I kind of grabbed everybody's little tutorials. But once you put it in there, you get like a choice of 10, 
10 different people. Everybody's got tutorials on it. Just depends on who's, um, who's you can watch. Zola. Zola, you're the bomb diggity. Um, let me see little B on the cheek. Thank you. Zola, I thought you were cooking dinner too. You're stirring the pot. Let's see, what, 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 what did Crafty say? Man, wow, that's a while since I did that pattern, Mary Beth. I had fun making it. What did you have fun making? Um, do you need a unicorn? With those animals, you should have one. I, I think that, um, no, that was just a photo. Got a notification on the phone. Um, I think that I'm gonna go with some, like like somebody said, the sea urchin animals in this area. I wanna make the whale. I've already got like the colors and stuff. I wanna make a whale. I was gonna make dishcloths and stuff like that, but I, I don't have time for that. I'm just not thrilled. This was another yarn that I've made the shell. I think that's so pretty. And I'm gonna put the, um, keep grabbing that. I was looking to see if I had blue, but I don't. Well, I have blue up there. My little green legs, my little pink legs. Let's see. Let's see, I have another ball of this. So I can make, well, I have the rest of this ball. So I can make two turtles, a green one, and a, I, I have to say I gravitate to pastel colors the most. So I have to think that other people like brighter colors. This one I'm having fun with. This one I'm really having. I'm making it a white turtle and I'm gonna make it red, white, and blue. I've got the other yarns up here. You can't see, well, you can almost see it right there. I got red and blue. I'm gonna make it red, white, and blue. Don't know how, you see how this stuff makes a mess. But um, yeah, I've already got the legs. So the turtle's gonna be white, but then the shell's going to be, um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I was gonna do it red and white stripe and then put stars on it. I don't know. It's gonna be a funky thing. It's not gonna be very big, but I thought it'd be a statement for um, right after 4th of July, if I do this again, I don't know. But I thought that would be, because it's the end of this month and then there's no more um, holidays. So I thought 4th of July is the only thing that someone would be thinking about to buy it if they see it. I don't know. It was just something I thought of. Thanks. <laughs> Looking for a holiday because, you know, Easter passed me. So there we go. Um, you would love to see it after it's completed. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys, you know, I'm trying to, having this channel has made me accountable. I've finished quite a few things. Um, so you're definitely invited to see it when it's done. <laughs> I was, I'm going to send some of those to VJ because I love watching everybody else's. I need to send a picture to uh, Sunita to get my stuff on one of those videos too. That's what got me started. I was sending to Rose Loves Crochet. And I just love to see my stuff on the TV, on the videos. So um, donating is what started me into the YouTube cities or streets. <laughs> Bonnie's laughing, laughing at me, and I don't mind. I can't wait to show you guys the cactus. I will probably, because this sucker's going together fast. Tomorrow I'm going to be crocheting. I have to take Miss Kitty... The woman down the street's name is Catherine. She's been known as Miss Kitty for over 79 years now. So um, I'm her driver. And tomorrow she has two locations I have to take her to. And Friday, and one of them is the post office. And Friday she has another appointment that I need to sit outside. So I will be crocheting in the car. I'm driving Miss Kitty around town. Again, 79 and she's not driving anymore. They took her car away. So 
I'm her wheels for a little while. I love that little daisy. Isn't that cute? I can't, I'm going to glue these up. I'll probably put pictures on them before Friday. I mean, before next Wednesday. For some reason, I always think I'm Friday. But before <laughs> driving this kitty. Oh, no. I should do another channel. <laughs> you would not believe what it's like taking her around town. We do have quite a bit of fun. Um, I'm going to put some pictures on my community tab when I finish some of these flowers. Um, I've never done those. You put them on dowels. That, VJ, let's see. That was what I was thinking. <laughs> Cut. Yeah, I say it all the time. Driving Miss Kitty. Um, I actually have an expired sticker on my car, which I had to take her on the base. It's like, ooh. <laughs> the officer trying to flag us in. Yeah, she stopped and she... Uh, was asking me a few questions and when we realized that my one of the stickers needed to be that was expired it was expired okay um boy they weren't gonna let me on the base but miss kitty came to the rescue yeah she was going to have a mammogram so when the lady said i can't let you on the base she let right in on that one oh, we went on the base she had her mammogram and I had to go get that sticker taken care of. But it was pretty neat. It was it was pretty neat because immediately this woman did not know what her match was. Yes, Miss Kitty was going to have her mammogram. <laughs> and Dory was going to be taking her right then and there. It was pretty neat. Appointments are so hard to get, you know. It was ridiculous. Sure didn't. Um, yeah, OCD. OCD. Can't help it. I, I'm looking at that. <laughs> yes, Miss Kitty is so sweet, you guys. She has been so funny. Yep, love Miss Kitty. Oh, nope. That's twice the picture's gone away. Then I just, I don't know what I did. Let's see. Um, It's, it's seven o'clock, you guys. Who is live? Y'all supposed to be taking care of that, reminding me. Um, is there somebody we can go raid? All zebra parts are completed. Oh, Shirley, no, you didn't. We must see that. I wish I was on StreamYard. I'm going to do that eventually someday when I get to be an expert. Because I want to have people come up and show stuff. That's so funny. Yes, congratulations. Now you got to put it together, right? I'm, so, I wanna, I'm doing a zebra. Got to get a zebra started. I got a plan for that. But she's made, Miss C, you've made some gorgeous zebras. The ones that you are, um, yep, you got to put it together. Yep, yep. All body parts done. Y yeah, I, mm, got to do me a zebra. <laughs> the zebras are beautiful. All of them zebras. Okay, guys, there's nobody saying somewhere we got to go. Yeah, congratulations, Shirley. One more zebra in the world. You don't see any future lives. Sorry, any suggestions? Well, wait a minute. I just saw Bailey. Bailey popped up. She's a few minutes late by my thing, but Bailey um, on the prowl. She just jumped up. Let me see. Up, up, up. Yep. So, oh, goodness gracious. Where are you guys at? Oh, no. I don't know where you are. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> are we still there? Okay, guys. So, I think that... Uh, is there somebody in the chat that wants to go live? Wait a minute. Somebody in the chat? Right, Bonnie. Bonnie, Bonnie. You didn't make a zeb you didn't make zebra parts because you were sir survive the supervisor. Okay. And you're making sure everybody else gets their homework done. Well, we'll give you a carrot for helping everybody. Okay, yes ma'am. Dory raid to Yeah, Dory raid to Bailey's. Please. Let's go see what Bailey is doing. And um, thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. 
was awesome. Okay, guys, I love you, and I'm running over to Bailey's. Cat on the prowl. Bye. Bye.